Hey guys, it's Mark from Hallmark Pool Supplies. I'm here today to talk to you guys about how to wire your motor on your swimming pool pump. Here lately, I've gotten a lot of emails in regards to wiring pumps, so I thought I'd make a video, make it real simple for you guys uh, to know the difference between 220 hookup and 110 hookup. Okay, so regardless if you guys have 110 or 220, manufacturers have made motors so that they can be converted to accept either 110 or 220. Most of the time they come wired or preset to be wired from the factory at 220, but it can be changed. Doesn't matter if you have a half horse, all the way up to a horse and a half. Most motors that are gonna be two horse and higher are automatically gonna be wired 220. The average pump on the average pool in America is three quarter to one horse. I have a one horsepower pump here, and let me show you how we do this. Okay, so let's remove the back plate. I'm gonna take the plate off, and you'll see right here is where your wires come in, and you're gonna have load one, load two, and ground. And as we can see right now, this dial is set at 230. In order to change this to 110, take a pair of pliers and just gently turn this, and now you can see we're at 115. Now you have heard me say 110, 115, 120, doesn't matter, that's all the same. And if I flip it back, we're at 230, doesn't matter if it's 220, 230, 240, all means the same. You're basically low voltage or high voltage. So for an example, let's just put it on 110 and we're just gonna say that we're gonna wire this motor up 110. And if we look down here at these wires, you're basically gonna have a black, which is a load. You're gonna have a white, which is a neutral, and then you're gonna have ground. So when hooking up a 110, we want to take your black, which is hot. We can put it on line one. We can take our neutral and put it on line two. And then green will always go to ground. Now, at this point, we've got it set at 115. We've got neutral, hot, and ground and that is how we wire for 110. If I was to unplug this and put the white here and the black here that will make no difference as long as we still have ground on ground. So ground has to stay there. So we now have a hot neutral ground and we're still sitting at 115. If we were to wire this 220 we would take our dial Gently turn it, and now I'm at 230. And what has happened is we now have hot, hot, and ground. There is no neutral. So we have two hots and a ground. And once again, if I move these wires, makes no difference as long as ground is on the ground. And with a 220 hookup, you have two hots and a ground. Where a 110 hookup, you have a hot and a neutral and a ground. Okay, so typically on 220 hookups, you would not have black, white, and ground, although you could. You have this combination of black, red, and ground, and both black and red are hot. Load one, load two, ground. Or you have this combination where you have two blacks and a ground, where both blacks are hot and a ground. When we do 110, you typically have one hot, neutral, and a ground, but it can also be wired as 220, uh, regardless of the color of the wires, what is important is that you have the two lines or loads coming in here, be it black, white, black or black, black or red, green is always the ground. And when we change the dial, that is what is going to determine if we have 110 or 220. If you guys don't know, if you have 110 or 220, you can actually take the motor and we can look at the label plate and it's a schematic, it will tell you what's what. On the older pumps, we had to move wires around, then they came up with a switch that you could switch from 110 to 220. A lot of the newer pumps today are done with the dial so that we can actually switch it. And if you have a newer pump and that's there, then you'll already know what you've got. It's just very important, like I said, to put your colored wires here and ground is always here and you'll be good to go. If this is wore off, and you can't figure out what you have or you do have an older uh, pump that doesn't have a, a switch or a dial, you can very easily get a voltmeter. And if you get a voltmeter, turn the power on 
we can actually hook our voltmeter to the two wires here and it will tell us exactly what you have if it's 110 or 220. And you can do that with any of these regardless of the color. It just depends on how it was wired. What is very important is when you are wiring or unwiring and working on a motor like this that you do have the power turned off just for safety. It is very, very important that the pump is wired correctly. If you wire this pump incorrect, you can damage it. So that's how we wire a pool motor. So if you guys are looking to replace a pool motor on your pump for your pool uh, and you need some help, I did make a video in regards to selecting the right motor for your pool pump. There are a lot of variables and a lot of differences from one pump to the next. And if you guys need some help with that, check out the video. I will post a link down below. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Definitely hit the like and subscribe button for future content. I definitely want to take this time to thank our subscribers. We just recently hit 5,000 subscribers. That is amazing. I can't thank you guys enough. I do appreciate you watching. Remember us at Hallmark Pool Supplies for all your pool needs. My name is Mark. I'll see you guys on the next video.